everyone, come all! You're just in time for an art amazing experience! Welcome to Balay Negrense here in Silay City and to the magnificent world of Asian arts only here on DepEd TV! Get ready with your paper, pen, and self-learning module as we discover the artistic prowess of Asians and listen to the stories told by their masterpieces. I am Serafi and I heart Asia. Our Art Asian challenges today will deepen your understanding of batik as a traditional art of Southeast Asia and the traditions or history of Southeast Asian arts. You will surely enjoy the spectacular, art fantastic, and art authentic masterpieces. Together with your fellow artisans, Aki and Tina, you are going to perform the challenges that the art master will give you. Thanks, Sir Rafi. Hi, artisans. I have invited an archon from Negros Occidental to share his significant learning experience with us. Here is Dion Salahog of Enrique B. Magalona National High School. Hello fellow archons! Last week I had an art amazing time discovering Southeast Asian artifacts. And I also realized that there are certain factors that influence the creation of an artwork. I realized the importance of an art in our everyday lives and I hope that you too enjoy the art amazing journey with Sir Rafi, the art master, Tina and Aki. See you around, Archans! Thank you, Dion, for sharing your thoughts. We would like to hear more from you, Archans, so keep on watching DepEd TV. Your task today is to become more familiar with the work that Aki, Tina, and Sir Rafi will introduce you to. You will also need to travel back to different countries to be more accustomed to the historical influences of some Asian countries. See you again later. I am the Art Master and I heart Asia. Thank you so much, Art Master and Dion, for sharing what you have learned. I hope artists like you at home will continue to open your hearts to learn the arts. Southeast Asia is known for its ancient aesthetic and conventional woven fabric, according to Jittinger and Lifferts in 1992. Its regions consist of these 11 countries, Brunei, Cambodia or Khmer, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Vietnam, Myanmar or Burma, East Timor, Laos, Thailand, and the Philippines. The forms of textiles, clothing, and their designs are remarkably similar in spite of the differences in language, culture, and religion. And to help refresh our minds when it comes to batik, here are Aki and Tina. What's up, Archans? I'm Aki, your art body. And I'm Tina, your stylish bestie. The drop action in batik refers to the process of dyeing the fabric by making use of our cyst technique covering areas of cloth with a dye-resistant substance, usually hot wax, to prevent them from absorbing colors. Can you still remember the two categories of batik? Perfect! Geometric motifs and free-form designs. How about the two main types of batik? That's correct! Hand-painted and block-printed. And batik can be done in four different ways. It can be hand-drawn through the use of metal blocks, screen printing, and digital printing. Machine-made printed cotton malangs made in Indonesia specifically for export to Philippines are commonly referred to as batik because the item is imported and also because a combination of different colors and patterns are used. A discussion on Maranao arts and crafts would not be complete without mentioning the malong, an important part of their traditional clothing. Among the traditional tribal peoples like the Maranaos, the malong is used as everyday wear. The motif of their textile design is the okir. And for you to know more about the okir, let us give you back to Sir Rafi. Philippine arts reflect the diverse cultural influences and traditions of its society since it is inhabited by different ethnic groups. It is divided into three islands, namely Luzon, the Visayas, and Mindanao. Mindanao is home to different ethnic groups such as Lumads, Maranaos, Tausugs, etc. The Maranao culture is known for the exuberant and vitality of its art forms. Their major art forms are carving, weaving, and metalwork. Their artworks include the Sarimanok and the Okir. Okir is the unique art of figuring, 
painting, carving, and sculpturing of the Maranaos that depicts the social and psychological identity of Maranao society. There are two traditions of Okir. Okir Adato, the predominantly curvilinear male, and Okir Abai, the predominantly geometric female. Okir is an exclusive artistic cultural heritage of the Maranaos depicting their indigenous originality and skill. We need to protect and promote this art culture so future generations will still be able to experience and appreciate this type of art. Let's have an art throwback as we discuss the historical influences behind the tradition and arts of some Asian countries. The people of Southeast Asia were once thought to have shared a lack of inventiveness since prehistoric times as they were seen as receptive rather than creative in their contacts with foreign civilizations. However, later excavations and discoveries in Myanmar and Thailand inspired some scholars to argue this preconceived notion. These scholars contended that the people of mainland Southeast Asia were cultivating plants, making pottery, and working in bronze about the same time as the peoples of ancient Middle East, and therefore civilization spread from mainland Southeast Asia to China and India. Let's first rediscover Indonesia. The culture of Indonesia has been shaped by the long interaction between original indigenous customs and multiple foreign influences. Indonesia is centrally located along ancient trading routes between Far East, South Asia, and the Middle East, resulting in many cultural practices being strongly influenced by a multitude of religions including Buddhism, Christianity, Confucianism, Hinduism, and Islam, all strong in the major trading cities. Now let's get to know Malaysia even more. The culture of Malaysia draws on the varied cultures of the different people of Malaysia. Chinese and Indian cultural influences made their mark when trade began with those countries and increased with immigration to Malaysia. Other cultures that heavily influenced that of Malaysia include the Persian, Arabic, and British cultures. The many different ethnicities that currently exist in Malaysia have their own unique and distinctive cultural identities with some crossing over. The culture of Thailand has greatly evolved over time from its relative isolation during the Sukhothai era to its more contemporary Ayutthaya Thai era which absorbed influences from all over Asia. Limited Indian, Chinese, Burmese, and other Southeast Asian influences are still evident in traditional Thai culture. Buddhism, animism, and westernization also play a significant role in shaping the modern Thai culture. Throughout Cambodia's long history, religion has been a major source of cultural inspiration. Over nearly two millennia, Cambodians have developed a unique Khmer culture and belief system from the syncretism of indigenous animistic beliefs and the Indian religions of Buddhism and Hinduism. The culture of Vietnam is one of the oldest in Southeast Asia, with the ancient Bronze Age Dong Son culture being widely considered as one of its most important progenitors. Due to the 1,000 years of Chinese rule, Vietnamese culture has been heavily influenced by Chinese culture in terms of politics, government, social and moral ethics, and art. Vietnam is considered to be part of East Asian cultural sphere. You see, Southeast Asians have their own unique functions, styles, and themes inspired by their rich history, culture, beliefs, traditions, and everyday life reflected in their masterpieces. And to challenge you for the last time, here is the Art Master. It's me again, the Art Master. For your last challenge, you are going to decorate an old picture frame using colorful pages from magazines. Step 1. Make sure to be ready with your materials like old magazines, picture frame, glue, glue gun, glue stick, scissors, and cutter. Ask assistance from your parents or guardians when using sharp and pointed objects. Step 2. Prepare your designs using the magazine pages. Step 3. Start decorating your picture frame. Remember, be careful when using glue gun. Step 4. You can use other decorative elements you can find at home. And voila! You are done with your brand new picture frame. Send us your creative picture frames and get the chance to be featured in our next episode. I am the Art Master and I Heart Asia. Sir Rafi, back to you!
Thank you, Aki, Tina, and Art Master. Great job, Archans. I hope you took photos of yourselves while doing the art challenges with us. Post them on Facebook and use the hashtag iHeartAsia. Make sure to include your significant learning as caption of your post. May you have realized the role of art in enriching and promoting our culture, traditions, and identity as Asians. Keep on watching Depth and TV. I am Serafi and iHeartAsia.